With sea levels rising worldwide, several major metropolises are at risk of being submerged. Global warming can be difficult to properly visualise. If you're not directly threatened by rising sea levels, suffering water shortages or ravaged by wildfires, how do you know it's really happening? It can all seem a little abstract. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 9 cities that could be underwater by 2030. And just wait till you see the top 3, something you may not even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin though, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure to hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So let's cut to the chase. At 9, Savannah, USA. The city of Savannah, Georgia sits in a hurricane hotspot, but even without extreme weather events, the historic city could see land swallowed up by the sea on all sides. The Savannah River in the north and Ogeechee River in the south could both spill out into the nearby marshland, meaning that when hurricanes and flash floods do hit the city, and by 2050 the city is predicted to experience once per century historical flood levels every year, the effects may be even more severe. At 8. Georgetown, Guyana For centuries, Guyana's capital Georgetown has relied on sea walls, or more accurately, one gigantic 280-mile-long sea wall for protection from storms. That's because most of the coastline is between 0.5 and 1 meter below high tide. Some 90% of Guyana's population lives on the coast, and as you can see, the country will need to substantially bolster its seawall if Georgetown's central areas are to avoid massive damage. Next up at 7, Bangkok, Thailand. A 2020 study found that Bangkok could be the city that's worst hit by global warming in the short term. The Thai capital sits just 1.5 meters above sea level and, like Venice, it's sinking only much, much faster, by about 2 to 3 centimetres a year. But Bangkok is also built on very dense clay soil, which makes it even more prone to flooding. By 2030, most of the coastal Tarkam and Samut Prakan areas could be underwater, as could its main airport, Suvarnabhumi International. And now at 6, Kolkata, India. Much of West Bengal has thrived for centuries because of its fertile landscape, but as the map shows, that has become great cause for concern in Kolkata and its surroundings. Like Ho Chi Minh City, the city could struggle during monsoon season as rainwater has less land to run off into. This map of the potential situation in 2100 is even more concerning. At 5, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Climate Central's map shows that the areas most at risk in Ho Chi Minh City are its eastern districts, particularly the flat, heavily built-up marshland of Tu Thiem. But it also looks like the city will be increasingly threatened along the Mekong Delta. While the center of Ho Chi Minh City itself is unlikely to find itself underwater by 2030, it will almost certainly be more vulnerable to flooding and tropical storms. 4. Venice, Italy In the very near future, Venice faces a twin threat. Sea levels are rising and the city itself is sinking by 2 millimeters every year. The Venetian capital has already been hit by severe flooding and climate change is likely to increase the frequency of high tides that submerge it. Like New Orleans, Venice has a system of flood defense systems in place, but as the crisis worsens, these will be more difficult and expensive to maintain. At 3, New Orleans, USA. See those sharp, thick grey borders on the map around the center of New Orleans? That's the city's system of levees that protect it from the swarm of red building up from Lake Morepas in the north and from Lake Salvador and Little Lake in the south. Without those defenses, New Orleans would be severely threatened by rising sea levels. But even with them, the damage looks catastrophic. The Biloxi and Jean Lafitte wildlife preserves look particularly vulnerable. On the map, both appear almost totally submerged. At 2, Basra, Iraq. 
Iraq's main port city of Basra lies in the Shat al Arab, an enormous and wide river that feeds into the Persian Gulf. Due to its intricate network of canals and streams, as well as neighboring marshland, Basra and its surrounding areas are especially vulnerable to a rise in sea levels. And as if that wasn't worrying enough, Basra already suffers significantly from waterborne diseases, so increased flooding carries even more significant threats. And finally, at one, Amsterdam, the Netherlands. There's a reason they're called the Low Countries. Amsterdam and the cities of Rotterdam and The Hague sit low, flat and close to the North Sea. The Dutch are famed for their flood defences, and looking at these sea level projections, it seems the country's system of dikes, dams, barriers, levees and floodgates will become even more essential in the years to come. And there you have the nine cities that could be underwater by 2030. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. That's all for now. Until next time.